guys, today I'm filming a book haul! So, uh, this is kind of a Christmas and birthday book haul because my birthday is in the middle of January and I got a gift card for Christmas and some money for my birthday and yeah, these books were purchased with that. I have some new bought books and some used books, some books that I have already read and some books that are continuing a series and some new books and yeah, it's all very exciting and let's start! So there's two books that I bought new because I wanted to finish this trilogy and I didn't really want to wait for them to be available used. And these are Siege and Storm and Rune and Rising by Libra Dugo. These are the second and third book in the Grisha trilogy and I read Shadow and Bone in January and wanted to continue with this right away. I can't really say much about them because I haven't finished the whole trilogy yet and also that would be a topic for my wrap up. But so far I think that they are quite good. I enjoy the world building, but I'm not like hyping them as much as other people. I think they're just fine. What I do know is that they are freaking beautiful. They are so very pretty and they look so nice together. I just like in the spines and I just <sighs> Couldn't really wish for more. Another book that I bought new was Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs. Finally, after my pre-order fail, where I pre-ordered it and then it got shipped but never arrived at my place, I have finally bought this book again. I bought it at like a time somewhere in the middle of January where I felt like really motivated to read this. Now I don't really feel like that anymore, but I do hope to get into this once I have finished the Grisha trilogy. These books are always kind of hard for me to read because I think they are quite slow and this is a trilogy that I enjoy, but it's not one of my favorites. So yeah, it always takes me some time to really start these and to really get into it, but yeah, I'm still excited because I just want to finish this. Now on to two books that I have already read and bought used. The first one is The Host by Stephanie Meyer and back when I read this I got it from the library and actually read the German uh, copy of this. I do want to reread this at some point but it is quite long so I don't really know when this is going to happen but I definitely plan on rereading it at some point and I just saw it was available in the used store and it was like 99 cents so I just you know. I also bought The Selection by Kiara Cass. This is the first book in the Selection series and I really enjoyed the series and I also really like how the books look and how the spines look so I just wanted to get it to complete my collection of The Selection. <laughs> Wow, I'm so funny lately, what is happening? So then I have three more used books, the first one being Numbers Infinity. This is the third book in the Numbers trilogy by Rachel Gord and I read the first book in January and <laughs> I just saw this was available. So even though I do not own the second book yet, I already bought the third one because I'm quite sure that if I start the second one, even if it is not that good, I still enjoyed the first one enough to definitely read the third one as well also because they are always really really short and just easy to get through so I just definitely plan on reading the whole trilogy and yeah this was also like only 99 cents so yeah. Then we have The Rosie Project by Graham Simpson. Wow and this is a huge copy. <laughs> Look at that! And I really don't have a small head. Like I have a really really huge head. There's never any hats that fit me. That is how huge my head is. But still this book, wow. I know that there is going to be a movie someday soon. I don't really hear anything about it anymore. So maybe it's not gonna happen anymore. But still I just thought it would be fun to kind of have an adult contemporary back on my shelf. Because I haven't had that for a really really long time. And all I know is that this is about a guy that kind of tries to find the perfect wife for him. He has like very specific things that he wants in a woman and then he finds this woman named Rosie I think who was totally not any of these things but still kind of interests him. 
think that is what it is about. Yeah, I'm just kind of excited to read this when I feel in the mood. Like, it's probably not something that I will pick up in the next few weeks, but I'm just happy to have one of these books on my TBR so I can pick it up when I feel like it. And the last book I have is The Program by Susan Young. This is a dystopian duology which is about, I think, kind of suicide as a virus. So, like, many teenagers get, like, this kind of virus and they all want to kill themselves and then they get into this program. That is all I know about it. I just kind of really like the cover. I think the concept in general sounds intriguing. I am interested to see how it will go. You never know. It could go totally wrong. But if it does, I still only bought it used, so that's fine. I just think it's so cool and too bright, <laughs> but I think it's so cool that the hardcover itself has something on it, even though this doesn't really look that pretty, but <laughs> it's just cool. I really like these kinds of things. Yeah, and also, you know, this is just a duology, so it's kind of easy to get through. And yeah, it was just there. The used copy was just there and I thought, why not? And I mean, I'm actually like shrinking my TBR quite a lot, so I do have to like stack up on new books and now I feel quite okay again. Like, I think I was kind of arriving at a place where it was not enough books, where I didn't feel like I had a big kind of variety with the books that I had and now I just feel safe again, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so these were all of the books that I basically got for Christmas and my birthday. I always really like just getting money and gift cards so I can really decide myself what books I want and which editions of these books I want. That's just the easiest for me and my parents just kind of know that that is how it all works best. Let me know if you have read any of these books and what you thought about them. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I guess I'll see you soon. Bye!